thank you for your interest in Century Aluminum Railings. The final elegant touch to your home's deck is complete with the addition of the Century Aluminum Railing System, a do-it-yourselfer's dream, available at most quality building supply locations. With our high-quality powder-coated aluminum railings, you'll never have to worry about the maintenance and replacement of weathered and rotted wood or rusty iron again. In this short video, we'll show you the ultra-simple three steps for installing your new picket and glass aluminum railings. You'll see tips, tools, and techniques. And whether you're installing pickets or glass panels, our aluminum railings will enhance the beauty of your deck and home for years to come. Century railings have been featured on the Home and Garden TV network and numerous design and home improvement magazines, enhancing some of the most beautiful decks in the country. There are a variety of railing styles and colors available, which can be combined on the same deck to meet your individual needs. Before you start, here are the tools you will need. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines when using power tools. Always use proper safety equipment, including safety glasses and proper clothing. We recommend when handling glass that you also use appropriate gloves. Please check with your local building code prior to installation. In a moment, we will show you how simple it is to install your railing in three easy steps. Whether you are installing pickets, glass, or a combination of both, it really is as easy as one, two, three. This is a typical deck in which we will be installing the Century Aluminum Railing System. Open your packages with a utility knife or scissors. Be careful not to scratch the paint. Lay out the parts you will be using. Begin by determining which posts must be installed at a specific location, usually stair posts, end posts, or corner posts. If your deck includes stairs, refer to the How to Install Stair video for post placement. Determine the location of the starting post, such as an end post or corner post. Measure from both directions and ensure there is blocking under the deck for fasteners to grip. Mark the holes with a pencil and then pre-drill the holes with the appropriate bit. Loosely fasten the starter post in location. Ensure post is plumb. Check in both directions with the level. If necessary, place corrosion resistant washers under the base plate to plumb the post. Tighten the fasteners to secure the post. Next, set the remainder of your posts. Maximum distance between the centers of each post is six feet. Always try to install your posts so that they are equal distance apart. Mark the holes with a pencil and then drill the holes with the appropriate bit. Loosely fasten the posts in location. Leave enough slack in the screw to allow the post to be easily tilted in either direction. This allows some movement to install the top and bottom rails. Swivel brackets are used on your post when you require a special angle. Wall brackets can be used in place of an end post. When installing picket railing, begin with the bottom rail and ensure there is equal spacing on each end between the picket hole and the post. Mark with a pencil and cut to size. Install the bottom rail. Position the bottom rail support leg at the center of the bottom rail. For top rail installation, measure the distance between each post and subtract half an inch. Cut the top rail to size. Insert one end of the top rail into the top rail sleeve of the starting post. Move the loose post to ease the other end into the sleeve. Secure the rail by screwing it into the pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the top rail sleeve. Now secure the bottom rail by pre-drilling it into the angled side of the bottom rail sleeve. Fasten it with a screw. 
drill quarter inch holes along the bottom rail at the maximum three foot intervals for drainage. Unpack the picket and spacer clips. To install the first picket, press it down firmly into the bottom rail and plumb. Measure and cut the first spacer clip. Snap the spacer clip into place in the top rail. Install the remaining pickets and pre-cut spacer clips. Leave the last four pickets in each section loose without installing the spacer clips. This allows enough movement to install the final pickets. Install the spacer clips. Measure the last picket to the post. Cut the spacer clip and snap it into place. When the railing is completed, attach the optional base plate covers to the post bases. If you are installing a glass railing, it is just as simple a process. After installing your post using the same method shown earlier, you would now put your top and bottom rails for glass into place. To install the bottom rail, measure between each post. Subtract one quarter inch and cut to size. Insert two rubber blocks into the bottom rail. Install the bottom rail. To install the top rail, measure the distance between each post and subtract half an inch. Cut the top rail to size. Insert one end of the top rail into the top rail sleeve of the starting post. Move the loose post to ease the other end into the sleeve. Tighten the fasteners on the post to secure it to the deck. Then attach the rail by screwing it into the pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the top rail sleeve. After securing the bottom rail to the bottom rail sleeve, Position the bottom rail support leg in the center of the bottom rail. The rubber blocks should be six inches in from each end. You can use a pencil to move the rubber blocks in place. Position the glass to be centered between the posts. Firmly holding the glass, fully slide glass panel into the top rail. Then press the glass panel down into the bottom rail resting it on the rubber blocks. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit our website, www.centuryaluminuminc.com.